Today on Makeshift Crate, we're making Power Sword. Hey guys, I'm Corey, this is Makeshift Crate, and today we're doing something a little different. We're gonna work in aluminum. I've never worked in aluminum before. It's not totally true, I think I cut a pipe for something. Anyway, it's not important. Regardless, we are going to make He-Man's Power Sword entirely out of aluminum. Now, this should work, but I've never done it before. So, we're gonna have a couple things that we need to do, make sure we're safe. We're gonna need steel-toed boots. We're gonna need, uh, I'm not sure how loud this is gonna be, so we're gonna need our hearing protection. Um, apparently, inhaling aluminum uh, dust from when you cut and sand it is very toxic, so we're gonna need air filters and blah, blah, blah. So, air, eye protection, obviously, not just normal glasses. So, that's kind of where we're at. All right, so these are the two pieces of aluminum we're gonna be working with. This one is uh, four inches by a five sixteenths, I believe, uh, by three feet. This big boy <laughs> is 10 inches by one inch by three feet. This thing, oh my God, it's huge. Um, this we're gonna use for the hilt and the handle and all that. And this one we're gonna use for the blade. Originally I was gonna try to do the whole thing out of this, but I wouldn't have to waste a whole lot of material to do that. And that's just impractical and kind of silly. Um, we got this metal from onlinemetals.com. They're not a sponsor, but placed my orders, got them within a week, super cool. So I'll put a link to them down in the description. Go check them out. Let's uh, get this big chunk up on the workbench and uh, start drawing this out. Oh man, there's templates. Oh. See, boys and girls, reference is always good, be it physical or printouts. See, the band's all good cut this, but it's so heavy. All right, stop right now. I'm not trying to hold it through it, so I'm trying to cut it smaller so I can trace out the template and get it on the hands off. Alright, I can't take it anymore. We're going to try using the circular saw. This should work. I keep hearing that you can cut aluminum with woodworking tools. Fingers crossed. I wish I would have started with that. Okay, so that spray adhesive, just gotta let those um, get tacky. And once both sides are tacky, kind of like contact cement, put them together, they'll stick, and we can go from there. Okay, that's applied to this and to the hilt. Okay, so just when I thought I was done cutting this, other than cutting out the template this is too thick to fit in the bandsaw so i need to cut this side and this side so that it's literally just enough to fit into the bandsaw Okay, that worked perfectly. In case anyone wasn't sure, this is just off-brand WD-40. Um, I was using it as cooling fluid. So, clean this off. Try to get this through the bandsaw. Okay. 
That's so cool. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna need to clean that up when I sand it and stuff like that, but dude, that is cool. Okay, this is gonna be probably the hardest part of this whole thing is this is what's gonna be the hilt and I need to cut it in half. Okay, so now we got this cut, for the most part, rough cut, we'll say. Problem is, this is too thick. As you saw, I already tried to cut this in half once, and that's why I kind of switched to doing this, to try to relief out some stuff that needs to be cut. So now I gotta figure out how to cut this in half, safely. Okay, so this is the easiest and safest way I can think of to do this. Um, I would, highly caution you that if you're going to try to replicate this, just buy thinner, thinner stock. Don't buy ink stick, buy half ink. And you'll save yourself this problem. Okay, this didn't work. <laughs> I'm not cutting it straight. I'm not cutting it where I need to cut it. It's scary as fuck. <laughs> so, as much as I don't want to do this, we're not going to use this for the hilt. We're not going to use aluminum for the hilt. I'm going to make the hilt out of wood. Feels so good. I love this. Okay. Now, let's get some more sanding done. And then, once we're done sanding, time to prime. So, this is not obviously a real sword. So, I'm not worried about sharpening it. I just was trying to get the blade the way I wanted it to look, which I'm happy with. Okay, so to finish these, we could spray paint it. I don't really want to do that. We're going to try, we might do that, but we're going to try graphite powder first. You should, I should be able to rub this on, get a good finish with it, and then um, be able to hopefully put a clear coat over top of it. Lock it in. Hopefully we don't have the same problem that we had with the Batman helmet. That video will be linked here. So, uh, fingers crossed. Okay, so because I did not route out a channel for the blade to go in between these two and it doesn't cover the whole area, I made these spacers, which are just a ruler and some hardboard, same stuff we have on top of the workbench, link right here. Um, I'm gonna glue these up, we'll paint them black, do the graphite on them.
but glue up's all done. I do have to clean off some of this uh, squeeze out, which I'm gonna try to do right now as long as well as uh, re-sand this. I don't like the graphite next to the aluminum, so we're gonna try to sand it or wash it off and repaint it, don't drop it. Okay, not perfect, but I'm happy with where we've gotten this to. It is a lot more even. Um, it is scuffed up, I believe, enough that paint should stick to it with no problem. So we're going to mask off the blade. Get this painted. Alright, so now that this is done, we just gotta do some weathering. We have a weathering video up here that will kind of explain a little more what we're gonna do. But yeah, we're gonna get into it. So. By the power of Gray Skull. Oh man, I want the hair and the abs, not the harness and the red underwear. What the hell? Guys, I'm super happy with this. This is so cool. Ah, oh. and like after the weight of this thing, I'm so glad this didn't end up being all aluminum because I don't think I could lift it. Man, this thing's heavy, but still, so cool. Hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully it gave you some ideas for something you'd like to make. If it did, leave them in the comments down below. If you would like to see more prop videos like this, there'll be a playlist over here for you. Google's gonna see something for you down there. Not sure what it's gonna be. Unfortunately, it didn't work right, as you saw, but still happy with it. So, till next week. See you guys.